This podcast is for a mature audience and may be viewed as inappropriate or insensitive to some. Listener discretion is advised. The intention is to share conversation of like and unlike-minded individuals as they try to be the best them they can be in a life full of challenges, searching for love, acceptance, and positivity. Call 669-241-1422 and share yourself or catch up with Sweet Baby J for an anonymous face-to-face interview. Feel free to call in with questions, stories, thoughts, or anything you would love to talk about and share. Nothing is off the table when talking sweet with Sweet Baby J at 669-241-1422. Ladies and gents, gents and ladies, once again, as always, you are here talking sweet with Sweet Baby J. It's a no face, no case scenario, but we'd like to give the option on whether our great guests would like to share their identity. Sir, would you like to share your identity? Yes, of course. Sure. My name is Hank Kloster from the Netherlands. I'm uh, 56 years old, and uh, I was on the show before. It was a great pleasure, and uh, it looks like I'm becoming a frequent flyer here now, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a beautiful thing. We love people that support the show and supporting those people as well. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me again. But it's, uh, I guess uh, it's for a sad reason, right? Well, I mean... <laughs> well, uh, last time I was on the show was, uh, I think, only a couple of months ago. Yes. Uh, last year, late yeah. last year, yeah. Yeah, last year. And uh, yeah, a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was uh, diagnosed with uh, cancer from the pancreas. So you're di- and, uh, yeah. di- diagnosed so, uh, with pancreatic cancer. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. No, the, uh, then the doctors were saying it's only a matter of months uh, before I will uh, uh, no longer be around. <laughs> wow. So that was uh, quite a, a notice. <laughs> you know that. Sheesh. Even with. With hearing that, there there are so many questions I have. When when the doctor told you that, yeah, when the doctor told you that, what? How how does he even give that kind of information? Is he does he seem like he wished that he didn't have to tell you this, or it, it, does he just drop it on you like ice cream? Yeah, uh, they, <laughs> they drop it on you like ice cream. Well, in my case, um, I I have always been very healthy. And um, I never attended even to a doctor for, I don't know, usually I can fix it myself or whatever. And uh, never sick, never ill. And then at uh, some point, um, a couple of weeks ago, I got, you know, this stomach ache. And, and yeah, that was getting worse and worse. And my, after a week, my wife said, hey, please attend to a doctor. Let them have a look. So I went to the doctor and then uh, they push a little bit around in your stomach and they say, oh, this, this hurt, this, that, that. And I say, okay, it's uncomfortable, but no, it doesn't hurt. So then... And they send you away with some pills and then uh, for the stomach. And then they say, well, it doesn't work, then come back after two weeks. But uh, a week later, I ended up in hospital. And then, uh, yeah, they, they do some research and they um, they gave me this, uh, this scan from the stomach. And an hour later, um, yeah, somebody comes uh, over to tell you, say, sir, you have cancer. Wow. So that's it. <laughs> just like that. And you say, uh, yeah, just like that. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's bad news, but you better drop it. Uh, there is no, there is no other way of telling this, Jay. And you just, I mean, uh, it is what it is. And so, okay, then cancer is one thing, you know. They say, okay, that's not good news. <laughs> yeah. So, but at that at that time, I I was very sick. But yeah, over over the weekend, I was on a Friday, uh, Friday day, and that, that I arrived in hospital. So over the weekend, I got a little bit better, and then on uh, Monday, I asked the oncologist to. Uh, if I could go home again, and uh, he said, "Well," I said, "Well, listen, I'm I'm feeling quite well now, so why not?" And then eventually he agreed. But then they did several tests on me, and uh, and there's sort of like a puncture uh, from the uh, tumors. And then a week later, uh, I had to come to his office and uh, to hear the um, the explanations of the uh, of the tests. And then he said, "Yeah, it's it's pancreas, and uh, yeah, there's nothing we can do for you." So <laughs> that, that that drops in like a bomb, and uh, say, okay, this is uh, <laughs> this is new, and then immediately they also tell you the expectation, which is then uh, two to four months. Huh? Wow! So they give, uh, yeah. they give you a, a life expectancy of two to four months right there on the spot. Yes, exactly. Was your was your family there with you? Your wife or kids or anyone there yeah, with you? Yeah, my wife was there. My wife was there too. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, so you yeah. bo- you both got then, the news at the same they, time. They offered, uh, again? You both got the news at the same time. Exactly. Yeah, my wife was uh, was there as well. And um, yeah, so uh, and then he said that the only thing that they can do for me is to give me um, let's say life extending chemotherapy, uh, which I refused. Why? Mm, 
Well, it's a simple reason. Yeah. I've seen this, uh, chemotherapy. Yeah, I've seen what chemotherapy does to people. Yeah. Uh, we have some, uh, some friends and my family who, uh, who had cancer as well. And what it does is that, that one of the things that it does is that it shuts down your uh, immune system, which means that the, uh, once you are in uh, immune, uh, your immune system is down, then you are you really have to get in quarantine. And nobody can approach you uh, because every little virus will end. It's, it's, it's uh, probably going to kill you. So in this heavy time, my wife and kids and, and, and family and friends, they, yeah, they, they, yeah, there's one thing they want is to be with me and hold me while they still can. And I didn't want to take that away from them. Not, not in exchange for a couple of months of life, let's say, yeah, and, and, and miserable life because uh, once you get on the uh, camera, you get really, really sick. And right now, I must say, I, uh, apart from uh, low energy level now and then, I usually feel, yeah, like I always did. <laughs> so I'm still doing things and, you know, preparing for the funeral. Everything is already set and done. And uh, I designed my own coffin. Get out. Wait a minute. It. So wait, you designed yeah. your, <laughs> How do you design your own coffin? What, what did you do? Well, I, uh, <laughs> I have this program in which I engineer a lot. And so I, I decided to make my own uh, coffin. Because I, you know, the standard the coffins, I, I really dislike. <laughs> so, Did you make a so boat? Yeah. Is it a boat? I need to know. No, no, it's not a boat. It's just it's a very, uh, very straightforward design, basically. It's a, it's, it's, it's two halves. I can, I can send you a picture later on. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But it, it, it's got very industrial uh, hand grips, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a very, uh, yeah, it's a very, very me coffin. Hmm? Is it expensive yeah. to design your own coffin? No, no. I mean, I mean it cost me nothing. I, uh, I, the program was already there, and I was used to, to design things. And, uh, yeah, so I did it. Wow. And we built it in uh, two and a half days. So, yeah. You built it already? Yeah, sure. It's ready, yeah. <laughs> where, where is this? Is it at your house? Say again? Is it at your house? No, no, no. It's, uh, no, no, no. We, uh, we built it in a workshop, and it's still in the workshop. We, it will remain there until we need it. <laughs> you, you built yeah, your own coffin. Yeah. How, how did that feel in building your own coffin and knowing that in just a few months it? Yeah, well, it, it was fun to do. Uh, it was a li- just for me. I was looking at it as a little project, and uh, together with my uh, my brother and my brother in law, we built it. And it was it was uh, yeah, it was fun to do. It was actually. fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fun to do. I mean, we yeah, it's it's a sad reason for for. Uh, 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 working together on, on this coffin, but it was also, yeah, it, it, it felt good to, to, to do this. I mean, it's, uh, it's, get, it's getting very personal. Yeah? So it's a personal coffin, and it really suits me. Wow. <laughs> it, it suits you. <laughs> Holy hell. So yeah. wh- while you're working on this coffin with your family, what, are, what, are they, what kind of conversation do you guys have while working on your own coffin? Like, this is beyond yeah, me. Well, you see, okay, okay yeah, let me tell you something. Um, I, I, I mean, when I got the news that I was dying, that doesn't put a smile on your face, right? It's exactly. devastating news. And, but I say, okay, there's nothing I can do about that part, right? That, that's how it goes, yeah? yeah? That's what awaits me. Okay, so what I do uh, have, still have on the control is how I deal with it, mm. you see? And I, uh, this is also why we, well, let's say, um, put some pressure on uh, making the arrangement for the funeral so that I can, it's now done, the coffin is there, everything has been arranged, so now I can leave that part behind me and I can, you know, still, you know, uh, live until I can't live no more. I mean, you understand what I'm saying? I do, I do. Yeah. So no. I'm, I'm pretty, uh, ah. I mean, I, I'm trying to, to make it as easy as possible for the family. Well, I'm going to say. And uh, I'm joking a lot my, so, yeah, I'm joking a lot about it. I make very bad jokes, and then uh, and then my kids, <laughs> my kids say, "Dad, please!" And then I said, yeah, so "Hold on, guys, just <laughs> you have to hold on a little bit longer." <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I mean, what, what else can you do, Jay? Yeah. How old are your yeah. kids? Um, I have a son of 29, and a son of 21, and a daughter in between of 27. How are they and, taking um, it? Yeah, well. Uh, First, um, yeah, everybody was devastated. But uh, since I'm pretty relaxed with it, and then we do a lot of stuff with, you know, with, with, with uh, you know, for instance, right now we are on our boat. Yeah, everybody's here, and um, so we are with nine people at the moment. Nice. And uh, yeah, we've been we've been sailing for the last couple of days, and it was uh, great fun. Great. Yeah, very cozy. <laughs> yeah. My father just passed away January third. No. Yeah. And when you do not have funeral arrangements 
provided or when you don't have all these things, it does provide, it's stressful for the family. So it's great that you're able to take that amount of pressure off of them. Yes. And, uh, well, the, the, I mean, the, 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 yeah, well, the good, the good thing about cancer is that they, they give you, uh, another couple of months basically. Yeah. So, I mean, if you die from uh, pretty suddenly in, in, in a car accident or, or a heart failure, whatever is there, <clears throat> you, someday you are just not there anymore and the family has to deal with it. Yeah. And so right now I still have a couple of months and we, uh, so for instance, now we're taking a boat trip still and you now we can do things, we can talk uh, about things and, you know. Do you have a will? Yeah, it feels, feels good. Have you, mm-hmm. have you set up a will and said who gets what and all that good stuff? Yeah, but uh, my, my wife and I have a testament and uh, whomever lives longest, that's everything and then when my wife passes away the, the, everything will go to the kids so you but have, of course there are some pre- yeah but I still also have a quite a large workshop with uh, machinery and tools and and it is all going to to my sons and friends and whatever yeah nice you know I, yeah. I think a lot, a lot of people have this conversation of if I knew I was gonna die in so many hours or so many months I would do this I would go have sex with this many women I would go to the casino <laughs> I would get a motorcycle and go cross country people have all these things that they say they yeah would but do. I've done all these things already uh, before I died <laughs> <laughs> beautiful and, uh, my, my my younger son is inheriting uh, inheriting my, uh, my my one of the motorcycles ah yeah so yeah Last we spoke, your son was uh, dating this young lady, and you you really liked her. Have they gotten married yet, or no, 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 no not yet. But uh, yeah, they're still very much in love. She's on board, and she's smiling at me right now. <laughs> she's listening to. <laughs> Great. Well, I uh, love to say hi. Hey, hey, how are you, young lady? I'm going to put some pressure on the situation. Being that you have a few months left, they really love each other. Is it something that they are even considering? do to for you to see them get married is is that an option or no pressure uh, well my daughter my daughter was um, one of the things that my daughter uh, was very sad about was that um and she she intends to get married well over the next year or so and then um, her her boyfriend asked her to marry her uh, immediately after it was known that that well about my uh, sickness and they get married on april the 3rd so we have another a uh, party you had. <laughs> nice. Uh, very cool. Yeah, and then I can give her away. And uh, well, the, the, the trouble is at the moment, I mean, we are all in uh, living in, in a pandemic. Yeah. Uh, so there are a lot of restrictions on uh, people gathering and, you know, so also, uh, so we have to do it a little bit illegal. <laughs> hey, do <laughs> but it. There will be a party. Do it on the boat. Uh, well, the boat uh, is quite a, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's like 14 meters, mm. but it's not somewhere where you could put like 30 people or so. It sleeps 10, oh, okay. which is already good. But uh, yeah, right. uh, but we, we found a location and we found somebody who's willing to marry them and uh, everything has been arranged now. Nice. Yeah. You know, I, I'm really so, hoping that you're able to enjoy these moments to the absolute best of your ability i i think they are just the fact that you're able to do this knowing what the end result is going to be is beyond beautiful it's there's there's something glorious about it yeah perhaps i don't know there is a song i did it my way and <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly and I, i'm doing also this thing my my way and uh, this which is maybe out of your ordinary but uh yeah well I, mean, I, I like to do it like when I think about my father when he passed, it was very sudden. It pretty much was an overnight thing, and it was it was just such a shock and a very painful shock. So there was no prep. There was, and I was there for the whole thing. We were we didn't get a chance to hey, have any final words. I was thinking about all the things that I could have done different, all the things that I could have said, all the, you know, and you never yeah. stop thinking about these things. So this is why I say for you, this is probably somewhat of a glorious moment that the things that you want to say, the things that can be said to you, there's an opportunity for people to say them. And there's some beauty. Yeah, in that. that's right. And that's, that's the beautiful thing about having another couple of months to, to, to do all these things, you know? So, um, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually happy. <laughs> there you go. Hey, listen, I mean, when you yeah. smile, I smile. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm uh, surrounded by everyone I love, and uh, they're doing still nice things as long as I can uh, keep up with it. Keep and uh, with yeah, I'm trying. How's your? Yeah. How, what is your yeah. wife saying? 
Uh, a lot of things, but uh, yeah, she she she's one moment she's very sad, and you know, of course, and then I try to cheer her up. But the thing is, you can't say it will be all right because <laughs> it, it won't. You you know and that that, you that know is the, the sad part. Exactly. Yeah, but um, yeah, but usually we we have very very deep and beautiful conversations together, and we well we've been married for thirty one years, and uh, so. Sometimes we don't have to tell each other things. We just look each other in the eye, and then we know what we say, yeah, what we what we both want to say. So, and yeah, we're that th- close. Thirty thirty odd years of good marriage. It it hasn't been uh, exactly. Oh, that well, that, that in itself is a hey, not every marriage is a good one, <laughs> and some people stay. I know <laughs> in the turbulent ones. So it's good that you guys. But have- I will tell you this, Jack. I will I will tell you something. Uh, something. <laughs> I met this uh, this girl. Uh huh. In 1989, mm. and then we knew each other for 10 days, and then I, I asked her to marry me. And she said yes? She said yes. 30, wow. D- listen, yeah, really. what's crazy about that is there are people that are engaged for four years, seven years, 10 years, and then they get yeah. married, and the marriage lasts one year, and it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we did it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I knew it for, uh, for 10 days, and then I asked her to marry me. She, she said yes. And then, uh, yeah, we're still married. We uh, May May this year, we will be uh, married for 31 years. Yes. So she is truly your life partner. Yeah, she is the love of my life. And we have beautiful children. And there's a lot of love in the family also. That's what I, uh, yeah, that's what I see as one of our big achievements. Yeah. Also, there's a lot of love between the brothers and the sister. And, uh, yeah. Do you, and do also you... their partners, they, they really fit in with the, with the family. So we're very have... happy with the. You guys have the perfect puzzle, apparently, and this is also yeah. But this is something beautiful, huh? It, it is. It, I mean, it you, absolutely uh, is. And that's also you have to be lucky there as well. Yeah, it's crazy. I thought so I'm I a lucky would... guy. You're, 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 well, you know, all luck runs out. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but apparently, apparently. Yeah. But the thing is that the luck that you have in your life from our last conversation, you have lived a great life and continue to live a great life. And a lot of people yeah. live through, you know, this long life and live it through misery, but it doesn't seem like that's your case. Do you, are there any regrets for you? Uh, no, nah, usually I don't regret, regret the things. Um, I mean, yeah, something when, sometimes when you look back, you, you said to yourself, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but the thing is that you were there, you did it and you were not insane or so, or, you know, I may be drunk. Suck, but suck yeah. it up, drive on. <laughs> <laughs> so how can you have regrets? I mean, you were there, you were conscious. <laughs> so, Amen. Yeah, and, and my, but looking back, right, well, looking back and, 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 and uh, there's always things that you would say, okay, I shouldn't have done that. But uh, yeah, I think that is something different. That, I mean, you have to take responsibilities for the things that you do. And I think that that's, that's the point. I have two beautiful daughters. I was intoxicated when they both were conceived. No regrets. <laughs> You just make your choices in life and uh, keep pushing. Yeah, that's right. Keep pushing, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> wow, and, I, and you have a dog on the boat as well. Say again? Yeah, we have two dogs at the moment. We have a, we have a dog, and our daughter also has a dog. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Know, I'm really happy that it's unfortunate that you have to go through this, but I'm I'm really happy that you get this opportunity to spend with your family in this way. Yeah, so am I. So am I. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, re- I'm really uh, pleased. Yes. Yeah. With, with my father, and, uh, with my father, you know, yeah. we, he's been living around us for the last three years in Florida. And the pictures, you know, when I'm going through my phone and I see all the pictures and, and even through all the struggles and everything and just looking back, you know, it's still very painful, but... You know, all you can do is smile. All you can do is smile, and you are—you are so young. Like, how do, how does that even? You know, did you ask the doctor? Was there anything yeah, that I'm, I could have done I'm, different? Yeah, well, I, I'm I'm 56, but I I, I live my life like a rocket. <laughs> but now uh, apparently I'm, I'm running out of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> SpaceX here, huh? Wow. Yeah. Wow. So what what? What you? Where's the gold? Where did you bury the gold? And there isn't any. Oh, I come spend on, it man. all. 
No, you should. <laughs> you, you need to. You play a trick on your whole family and just make a map and say, <laughs> the gold is buried here. <laughs> no, there is no gold. I usually say, you don't don't save anything. <laughs> you, you better spend it. <laughs> well, I gotta uh, ask you. I'll, you I'll know, I've been a big spender. So, uh, so are all your bills paid off? Being that you know everything is. I'm currently uh, sh- uh, selling my company, and uh, then um, I'm done. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and we just sold the house last year. So uh, yeah, we should be good. That's good. So did my you, wife is good. Yeah. Did you tell your wife if you have a boyfriend, I'm gonna haunt you for the rest of your life or anything like that? <laughs> no, no, no. I told her. I told everybody that uh, her mom is still young, so if she meets somebody, uh, that they should support, give her give this guy a chance. Support yeah. her. How do you feel? Exactly. How do you feel in that, knowing that you're like, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult, of course, uh, to think about these things, but um, it doesn't make me sad. I mean, I'm a, I'm a realistic guy, right? Uh, yeah. This is how life goes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, why would I bore? I, I I wouldn't bother about it because uh, this is really what I want. Yeah. I want her to be happy. That that's when you and, really uh, show that you love somebody when, no no matter what, that you want them to be happy. That's that. Yeah, but she deserves. She deserves that, and I know it, it won't be happening uh, for the first for a while. Couple. Yeah, maybe never. I don't know. But uh, if she ever meets somebody who, where she uh, connects with and she feels happy, and then yeah, she has my blessing. There's something beautiful yeah, in that. That to to hear a husband that loves his wife say that when I'm gone, you have my blessing in moving forward. There's, of course. there's something so beautiful and, and honorable. Most men... It's beautiful about it because it's, it would be selfish if I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Most men say, you know, I will put me in an urn so I can be in the living room and I can see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. nah, I'm not the I'm not like it. Nah. There you go. You're, you're a very realistic no man. Exactly. Uh, you know yeah like you <laughs> hey listen as as i always say i have one life to live and i'm gonna live like it yeah well i i did that uh to most of the things that you can imagine uh, i would say i've been there on that so uh, <laughs> yeah I, I have no regrets uh, there what was the wildest thing you ever did in your life i gotta ask Wild. I can tell you, my wife is here. <laughs> look, look she's sta- she standing right there. She can still hit you with a hammer. No, 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 no. I can't tell you, really. <laughs> yeah. Some secrets yeah, are made to be to kept. Okay? I leave that to your imagination. <laughs> I feel you, man. I know how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Well, if she's there, she's now she's really going to want to know. Nah, she knows everything. <laughs> nah, I'm not everything. <laughs> Just about Almost everything. everything. Almost everything. <laughs> Almost right, everything. Write it in a letter, okay? <laughs> uh, well, some, th- some things you have to take to your grave. <laughs> yeah, I agree. With- <laughs> oh, man, listen, Hank, bro. I, I yeah. must say yeah. it's an absolute pleasure speaking with you. You know, you know, blessings go out to you and your family and going through this process. Uh, I mean... Words could not express, you know. I know. The, the, Don't try. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the, but the, it's, the thing about it is for me is that we've never met in person. But no, yet I, I feel like two spirits, you know, connected and it's and it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. And mm-hmm. I think you don't have to meet each other in person. If you connect, it's uh, like something universal. So I can. Huh? Yeah, I agree. I agree. This is this is beautiful. I'm wishing the absolute best. If you knew, I'm actually at the airport right now, sitting. Yeah, next I can to, hear that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm at the airport, sitting next to the pool, and I have my whole equipment set up here. The only problem is there are a bunch of kids in the pool. So I'm, but I'm looking in that direction, and I'm hoping their parents are not thinking. This guy's a perv. I'm just hoping that I'm thinking that. <laughs> I keep looking up in the, to the sky so that, I don't know, Stevie Wonder or something. I don't want any problems. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Listen, Hank, I am. Avenue and Avenue. Yeah, right. I am wishing you, your family, the absolute best of times in the months to come. Hopefully they're longer than months and there was a. Something, but I'm just wishing that you guys have the absolute best of time. Yeah. 
Make sure you give your family the the uh, podcast so they can check in and hear this episode, even though they were right there for it. Yeah, I've got, you will send me a link, I suppose. I absolutely will, bro. I am wishing you guys the best. Don't wait, don't wait too long, Jay. There is some pressure here. <laughs> I feel you. I, I feel like this has to be the next episode out because of the the time the time restraints on it. All right. Hey, listen, man. Thanks. Then, for- uh, I wish you all the best, my man. And uh, well, Thank- keep up the good work. Thank you. Thanks for talking sweet with Sweet Baby Jay. Absolute best. Really hope you guys enjoy this time. Make the best of it. Keep the love going. Keep the 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 knowledge that you can share. You know, your I personally feel that your spirit goes way beyond you. So that in itself, you've blessed many of lives. I hope so. All the best, Jay. Hey, all the best, bro. Sail sail all strong. The best, man. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. All right, bye, man. Stay great. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, see you. That's that's about it.